Can we? Can we? Michael and Mia spoke at the same instant. They often did that. They were twins, after all. This is page one of The Adventures of Michael and Mia, Stewards of the Land. Emma Hustis is a grade 10 student at Charlottetown Rural High School. She's also a senior 4-H member and one of this year's guest readers for Agricultural Literacy Week. It's about um, the importance of agriculture and um, the importance of respecting farmers and how they help society and the importance of providing food for other people. Yay! Yay! They've done it again. Helen Dawson is this year's coordinator for Agricultural Literacy Week on PEI. She says it's important for students across Prince Edward Island to learn about the importance of farming. A lot of the kids now don't live on farms anymore and don't have that experience. And the ones from the uh, city or the urban areas, they don't know where their food comes from any more than the grocery store. And having the farmers and going in to read to the classes about farming and letting them know that real people grow their vegetables and their food and the milk that they drink comes from a farm. There's a better way, Dad said. You know, soil isn't just dirt. The Adventures of Michael and Mia was written especially for this year's Agricultural Literacy Week. This year, every student who takes part in the week will also take home a copy of the book. A young set of twins, and the mother and father have just bought uh, a farm from an older couple who have retired, and the twins are wanting to uh, put in a garden. Dad pointed at the garden. The hose they'd been playing with was still running. Overnight, it had carved a narrow gully through their garden, washing away a whole row of parsley. They definitely have things that go wrong, and they have things that go right. They learn, and but at the end, they have too much food for their own family to consume, so they realize that farmers feed people. That will have trapped the fertilizer and prevented it from getting into the water. It's called riparian management, and it's something I worked really hard to keep doing well. The Adventures of Michael and Mia is not your traditional storybook. There is a glossary of agricultural terms at the back of the book, with definitions of words like conservation tillage, precision farming, integrated pest management, and more. Some of the pages feature special information boxes explaining agricultural practices like buffer zones. The message for the kids and for everybody is to learn that farmers have to keep up with the times, to learn how to use GPSs and about fertilizers and how much to use and what not to use. I guess there's more to growing things than just shoving seeds into the dirt, Michael said. The guest readers range from 4-H members like Emma Hustis to people connected to agriculture to actual farmers, including Carrie Wood from Old Mackenzie Farm. She and her husband own a mixed vegetable farm in Rose Valley. Wood has been a guest reader since the program started. She tries to make her presentations with the students interactive. We'll bring in different seeds and have them try and guess what they'll grow. And they're surprised that such a small seed can grow such a big plant sometimes and a big seed for a small plant. Depending what we still have left for produce, we've taken in purple potatoes and purple carrots. Helen Dawson says many of the guest readers tell her how much they enjoy visiting the students. The readers have a great time. The innocence of little questions from the younger kids, it's, it's amazing. The readers, a lot of them, are back year after year. They enjoy it that much. And who wouldn't enjoy questions like these ones? If you bring in a glass of milk, does it come out of the cow cold? Some of them are surprised that a potato would grow from a potato, that that would be the actual seed. And then others are surprised that milk does come from a cow. A woman with a camera around her neck came up to them smiling. Grade 2 teacher Joanne Burke hosted a guest reader last year in her class at Glen Stewart Primary in Stratford. And there was a hands-on element for students as well. She also brought with her some cuttings of potatoes, and we planted those in little pots, and the children were pretty excited to see that. Ours worked really well in that it grew almost to be beanstalk size. Joanne Burke says only a few of her students in last year's session were connected to agriculture. But the discussion about farming did resonate with some in her class. Some of them may not live on a farm now, but there were a few that had grandparents who had run a farm or uncles, so they brought in some pictures too of those farms and tied it all together. PEI has been part of Agricultural Literacy Week since it started four years ago. 
And Helen Dawson says the island is currently top in the country when it comes to the number of students that participate in the week. Each year we've increased our class numbers, and last year we did 60 classes, and this year we're hoping to do between 70 and 80 grade three and four classes. Last year it was over uh, 1,200 kids. This year we're looking for between 2,000 and, and 2,200. It's amazing that we have this much participation. The books and the contract for provincial coordinator Helen Dawson are paid for by Agriculture in the Classroom Canada. It's a national non-profit group supported by corporate sponsors and Farm Credit Canada. Agricultural Literacy Week costs the group about $150,000 nationally, including $60,000 for the books. Mia and Michael looked at mom and dad who smiled and nodded. Carrie Wood of Old Mackenzie Farm says she's looking forward to visiting classes to read the adventures of Michael and Mia. And she's proud of PEI for being number one in the country per capita in celebrating Agricultural Literacy Week. I think that's great and I hope it continues to grow that they're able to get the resources and the interests on a yearly basis from the teachers and the students to just kind of bring that awareness and that hopefully continues on past the grade levels that they're currently targeting. A farmer, a farmer. For Island Morning, I'm Nancy Russell in Charlottetown. We're proud of you too, Michael and Mia said together. They looked at each other and burst out laughing. Mom and Dad joined right in.